Welcome to Now You Talkin', which is a new series that consists of a set of short videos on how to define key terms in the UTalk framework. We can start with UTalk itself, which stands for the Unified Theory of Knowledge. UTalk is a new philosophical system that connects the natural sciences with the subjective psyche and wisdom, and does so in a way that provides a coherent foundational system of understanding. It does this because it's anchored to a new unified theory of psychology and a unified approach to psychotherapy. And together, this system grows into a whole new scientific humanistic framework that affords for the first time coherence in understanding both the world and our subjective place in it. You talk is also a play on words. That's obvious in my You Talking with Greg podcast and here and now you talking. That's appropriate because you talk actually is lear like learning a language. Sometimes people will come to me and say, hey, I looked at your system, not really sure I understand all of it. My analogy back is, hey, if you spent a weekend trying to learn French, you probably wouldn't be able to speak French fluently. You talk's a lot like that. And the reason is it does introduce a new set of theories, uh, a bunch of concepts that are familiar, but actually get defined in relationship to each other and ultimately gives rise to a new grammar of understanding the world and our place in it. Let me give you an example in the sense that as natural science emerged, what happened is it provided us a framework for understanding matter in motion. And what that did ultimately, it sort of split the world into two domains, the material world and the mental world. Now, very few scientists or philosophers today argue for what's called substance dualism, that really there are two different worlds of matter and mind. But nonetheless, the grammar that emerged gave us these two different domains and they don't fit together. That's because we never really got the right map of the way the world is. You talk gives us this map. It divides the world differently. Specifically, it says the world exists in different planes of existence. The foundational plane of existence is called the energy information implicate order. That exists underneath the material world. And we can see it in things like the Big Bang, where science tells us that the observable material universe collapsed back into an energy singularity. And the work of quantum field theory shows us that underneath objects and their space-time locations is a non-local energy information field. Out of that energy information field evolved the material object universe that we see with its objects on the space-time dimensions that we interact with and that Newton mapped. We also now can track the development of life and living organisms and their behavioral patterns. Natural sciences have connected life onto the chemical and physical sciences, and that's where we get that category. You talk says that out of life emerged minded animals, and we can frame this as the dimension of mind, the behavior of animals with complex active bodies and brains. This is a unique and new way to define the concept of mind, and it bridges the behaviorists, the cognitivists, the neuroscientists, and evolutionists, and you talk affords us the capacity to grow that definition into more humanistic meanings of the word mind, like human reasoning. Indeed, after the minded animal plane, we get the plane of cultured persons. The plane of cultured persons involve self-conscious reasoning, talking, and systems of justification. Well, like you talk itself, is a system of justification, meaning a network of propositions and definitions that define and legitimize what is and ought. Indeed, capital C culture is defined in Utah as these large-scale systems of justification, and persons are entities that enter systems of justification, self-consciously reflect, and justify their actions on the social stage. What's happening here is we're redefining the grammar from a matter versus mind dimension into an energy, matter, life, mind uh, division that affords us a way to map the world and its behavioral patterns. That's unique. You talk shows us this unique way and then ties them together so that we get to see a coherent picture. It's by learning these elements that enables us to work with the world, see it and shift from our chaotic fragmented pluralism to a coherent integrated pluralism. And so this video series will define these key terms and related ones like behavior, mind, as I already mentioned, related terms like cognition, consciousness, self, person, 
And through these definitions and the grammars that underlie them and how they connect, we'll be able to de de develop this new language so that now you, we, all of us, now you talking.